rain, glorious rain. The summer mushrooms have started in the Midwest. Rain last night, so I'm out looking. So here's my early black trumpet spot. They're coming, but they're just barely starting. See? Everywhere here, I don't want to walk around too much I'm in the moss because of the rain. The brittle gills, about a week away from a chanterelle explosion. Join me today while we check where black trumpets and chanterelles and other summer mushrooms are at for the season. I describe with slides how to tell the difference between chanterelles and the toxic jack-o'-lantern fungus. I'm hiking. Another beautiful oaky forest. Early chance, maybe. chanterelle of the season. We got some uh, big beautiful rusula also. It's too small to pick. I see pins everywhere though. Yay. So we finally just had a big soaking rain and the mushrooms are starting. Didn't take much. They were ready. One more week chanterelles be hitting in my area. Seeing lots of russulas, different types. Yay! Yeah, so when you get a good rain and you go out and you see russulas and some other mushrooms fruiting and the shants pinning, or maybe you don't see them yet, um, you're a week out from nice big shants, especially if there's more rain in the forecast. So here in the half, lower half of Wisconsin, big drought, we needed this rain, some places over an inch, and more rain is uh, coming. So that is exceptional. Um, that will help our mushrooms to be popping, which we want. Uh, if you want mushrooms in Wisconsin, go north. Um, they had more rain. And you just have to check your precipitation totals in whatever area you're looking to uh, find. Good edible summer mushrooms. As long as you do that and see that within the last seven days you've had like an inch of rain, um, they'll be up. It's summer mushroom season. We're in the back of this place now. Let's see what we see. Another good tip, after that one inch of rain, about 10 days after that, mosquitoes 
will be erupting. So get your bug nets, bug uh, insect repellents, and carry them. I'm wearing shorts today. There's no bugs yet, but I still got my spray. Still got my long sleeve shirt to push through the brambles. Okay, more hiking. So the reason it's been so dry in parts of the Midwest is the La Nina weather pattern causes this. So we've been in a wicked drought. I mean like four plus inches below uh, normal. It rained an inch here, but the ground is still hard. There's no mud. So we really needed it. And we'll see how that transfers to next spring if it lasts. That could suck for our morel season. We had a really good one this year, 2023. So fingers crossed that La Nina moves along. Remember, you are solely responsible for what you identify and consume. Use multiple sources. It's supposed to be muddy, but not really. Pretty dry back here. Pretty dry. I've been in there where the water was right up to those boards. Swampy, nutty. I think this is wild day lily. Double check it. A lot of parts of that are edible. Flowers, tubers, stuff like that. Thank you so much for joining today. If you learned something, please like and subscribe. Next time, the Golden Waterfall of Shanty.